Hi everyone, my name is Elijah and today I'm going to show you how to do mail merging in Word and Excel. Now what is mail merging? It is a feature in uh, Microsoft Word which can help you to customize details in a document such as a letter or an uh, ID card if you're making IDs. <coughs> this is a feature that can help you put in those customized details. For instance, today I'll be using the example of creating student IDs and so quickly I can come here in the insert tab and get a rounded corner rectangle. Let's say this is our outline for our ID. I will make sure my fill is uh, white and uh, my outline. Let me use uh, blue. <coughs> and so here we have an outline of an ID, not to scale, but just for demonstration. Now I would want to have a nice background. So I have prepared here with me uh, some uh, images to use. I can use this uh, blue wavy background. I can copy that, come to Word and paste it. Sorry, paste it. Now here is my blue background. I can say that. So I bring in my blue background and uh, resize it to fit my ID background. Now I could have also entirely gone ahead without even the rectangle I realize. So let's just proceed and see how we can do the details in the ID. Now of course the first thing in an ID is you would need the uh, passport size photo for your um, let's say student. So again here I have my example of an avatar image which I'm going to use. So I can come and paste it here and then I can bring it to the front. Uh, I can do the wrap again. So that is a PNG image without a background. Makes it uh, look neat. And the next, next, next thing is I need to have the spaces where my details will appear. So I can come here and insert text box. I can do one large text box. And so on this side is where I'll have my name, this, the student's admission number, this, the class in which they are enrolled, uh, maybe the, the gender or sex, and uh, so on and so forth, the date of birth, date of admission, and so on and so forth. So to do that, so that my background is visible, I'll format my shape to have the transparency at 100 so that my background is visible. Now I'll also, I'll also want to have no outline. So I'll come to outline and say, uh, where is that? Shape options, the line, let's say no line so that my design looks neat. Now here, I can put in the labels for my details. You can say name, name, and leave the spaces for the details themselves. I can say date of birth, I can say date of admission, I can say class, and I think that is sufficient for demonstration of mail merging. Now at this point, I already have the basic design for the students that I'll have. And uh, now we need to go and get the details for the students, the actual details, the names, their dates of birth, date of admission, and their classes. So this is where now we will head over to Excel. And here in Excel, using a blank workbook, I'm going to have my details in a sheet. So I'll designate column A to be the one for name, column B to be the one for date of admission, date of birth, and class. Now let, let me put in here some uh, names of students. We can have Jen Smith, born on uh, that date, date of birth, that is date of admission, sorry, so I can have that to be 2024, 
for the date of admission you can have that and the class I can say three west and I can have more students I can have John Doe born uh, that is admitted I can have admission date to be the same and the date of birth can be also uh, let me have 20th April 205 and this is in four let's say south and the last student we can have Mary Barra admitted on the same day in 2024 and the date of birth can be 24th 207 and let's say this is in a 3 north so there we are these are now our details and this is what in mail margin we shall call our data source so go ahead and save your excel sheet and save it in a place where you will uh, quickly find let me just put it on the desktop and i'll call it data source so once you do that you can go ahead and close your spreadsheet <coughs> come back to word and the next thing you need to do is come to the mailing tab in the mailing tab you will have select recipients now the longer version of it is to go to start mail merge and you can have step by step but today I would like to show you a shorter way of doing it. Uh, just come to select recipients and uh, let's use an existing list. So now this select data source dialog box appears. And what it does is it allows you to locate where you saved your data source. Remember, the data source is the Excel sheet in which we have typed our details. Now we saved it in the desktop. So... Uh, you can expand this PC and you come to desktop. Here is our data source. Click on it and click open. Now this dialog box comes to help you uh, specify that the first row in the spreadsheet is not actual data but just column headings. And that is the case <coughs> with our spreadsheet. Sorry. And so we shall click OK. Now once that happens, the next step is to now insert what you call merge fields to point to Microsoft Word uh, to point to Microsoft Word which column or which kind of detail you want to be placed in which position so in this case we would like the details from the column name in the spreadsheet to be placed at this position after the word name so what we do is we come back to the mailing tab and we have the insert merge field and you click at the bottom side of this icon and it will display to you the columns that you had in your spreadsheet and so at the position where your cursor is this position we would like us to have name so you click name and so you can see the merge field is inserted so do the same for the others date of birth date of admission and class so now we have inserted merge fields into our design and so if we now go ahead and finish merging what will happen is Microsoft Word will now pick individual records from the spreadsheet and insert them in our design to make uh, individual unique IDs so let's do that we can finish and we can edit individual documents now we have a dialog box where we can select which records to include in our uh, finished uh, documents or IDs and let's choose all and click OK so as you can see we have three pages now in our document and each of the pages has 
a unique ID having picked details from the spreadsheet. So our first page contains the ID for Jen Smith and the respective details for Jen Smith follow uh, below the name. If we scroll down, you have the second page containing the ID for John Doe with the details for John Doe. And lastly, the last page has the details for Mary Barra. So that is simply how you can uh, use the mail merge feature to make your work easy. Later on, we shall maybe have other videos to show you examples of how you can use mail merge in other types of documents such as letters, uh, envelopes, and other kinds of uh, personalized uh, documents. So that is it. I hope you have enjoyed. I've, I hope you have learned. Uh, we will do something else in another video. Atieko! Bye-bye! 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 B